Hello and welcome. On behalf of Katie and Stephen and their families, I'd like to thank you all for being here on this very special day. They are honored that you have traveled so far to join them to celebrate their love. I will say that Katie has always been there as a great friend and always there for me. And even though we went our separate ways after college, we graduated together, but then I went to Colorado, she went to Pensacola, um, but we stayed close. And I think that means a lot in this day and age, um, staying close with the distance. And she was there for me on my wedding day. Um, Tate and I have always considered her such a great friend, so we appreciate that. And so I'm really happy that we're here today. You guys have grown up together, um, moving away, getting new jobs, coming back, and here we are. We have come together, families and friends, to witness Katie and Stephen as they exchange their vows of marriage today. They appreciate all of the love and support from each of you through the various stages of their lives, and would also like to sincerely thank their parents for the wonderful lives they have given them, for the hard work and guidance they have provided, and for their everlasting love, support, and encouragement. Stephen grew up thinking that he was the life of the party, had to entertain everybody, and we met all kinds of friends and all kinds of people. And he would talk to me about when he was gonna get married. Janelle got married five, almost six years ago, and he said, as we were leaving, so how old is Janelle, Mom? Um, and I, I don't know, I said 30 or whatever, and he said, so I got three more years. I said, but don't worry about it, because you will know when that person is there. You don't believe that now, but you will. So we were on a trip up to the mountains one time in the car, just he and I, and he said, Mom, you're right. And I said, well, I know you've never told me that before. <laughs> what am I right about? And he said, I met her. And he gave me cold chills just like it does now. And she's been around long enough for all of us to totally fall in love with her. And we couldn't be happier because Stephen is so very happy just because she's come into his life. Oh my God, I love you too. It's... I'm sorry. You're okay. Uh, come on, you want to walk up? Yeah. Let's go. Cool. I, Stephen, take you, Katie, to be my wife. I promise to always be your biggest fan and your partner in crime. I promise to be everything you need and everything you deserve in a husband. I promise to be your personal space heater. I promise to always let you sleep in and always kiss you goodbye, even if you're sound asleep. <laughs> and I always promise to keep the fridge stocked with ice cream. definitely wrote in here, I could imagine spending the rest of my life with anyone else. <laughs> I could. And I promise to never let a day pass without showing you that how much I, what you mean to me. I will care for you and, and stand beside you and share with all you all of life's adventures. Katie, you're my family, you're my home. And I choose you as my partner, as my friend, as my love from this day forward in all of my days.
I, Katie, take you, Stephen, to be my husband. I promise to always be your biggest fan and your partner in crime. I promise to never let a day pass without showing how much you mean to me. I promise to try not to respond with I don't care when you ask me where I want to eat. I promise to always let you choose the music, except for when you choose techno at 8 a.m. on a Saturday, <laughs> or any morning, <laughs> or any time when the day is it's still daylight. <laughs> And I promise to love you as much as you love your TV. Mm, that's nice. That's good. I pray we have a life full of travels and adventures and that we grow old together. I promise to care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all of life's adventures. Stephen, you are my family, you are my home, and I choose you as my partner, my friend, and my love from this day forward and all the days of my life. Then one day, she comes walking into Rocky Mountain Pizza. Those of you who live on, on Georgia Tech, now it's, it's a fam famous Eagles bar, so we're, we're down there watching a the game one day, and she walks us in with this really tall dude, okay? And, and I'm looking at him, and I'm saying, and I, but I'm looking at Katie Moore, and I see the glow in her face and, and her beaming. I said, this could be really special. I remember paying more attention to Stephen, the way he was paying attention to Katie, then I couldn't even concentrate on the game. <laughs>